Coffee is bitter, but my buttercup edge is often held by lips that want it. It seems like her lips only want what's no good. She replace guava dreams for artificial awakeness. But what do I know? I'm a mug. My only use is to cuddle liquids for her. But coffee is growing on me now. I wish that I was a coffee grinder. Coffee tastes better on other people's lips. Oh, I enjoy it now unbelievably much so. You know, we get hungry sometimes. I'd love for you to make coffee cake in me. I like cake. <laughs> I look outside as I swing from my mug tree, watching the branches claw at the freed monsters, trees protect you at night. Oh, I'd love to help them. I'd love for my metal tree to be less boring. But mugs aren't allowed luxuries like that. After morning, an instant joy beans have come. I'll sit and stare at perspective sharp enough to inject oh. the sky, maybe with collagen that keeps it looking so great all the time. Tetley blue sky, thank you for winter mornings. Also, the coffee is sorry for burning her tongue this morning. It told me to mention, so I decided to figure out why she likes coffee so much. Drugs? are like fire exits. They allow our minds to escape from the inferno that our lives inflict. Keep our minds singing about their secret curiosities and ensuring that our monsters get their way sometimes. Teaspoon tells me that he offered her marijuana but never offered her crisps. Maybe it's because their monsters are friends, and hers told his exactly what it wanted. Some part of her must be decisive, because the universe is expanding from belly laughs at people who think that they can get what they want by doing nothing. Mm. Now that she's opened up parts of her mind that she isn't used to, and I am getting used to the life I have and the secrets I hear, that impossible boy is easier to understand, and I'd love to pass the message on, you know. He'll be happy he's fixing her. Mm. Mm.